Good evening, everyone. Can everyone hear me okay? Good. I had like wonderful upbeat music playing for you guys that whole time. And little did I know that the microphone was muted. So I apologize for that. I am super excited for you guys to tune in this evening. Um, I just want you to just take a moment. And as you hear these things from my dear friend, Nikki, I just really want you to think about yourself, think about your life, think about those you love, those people that you know. And if there's just even a teeny tiny bit of anything that she says that resonates with you, I want you to keep that close and keep thinking about that. Um, because we are all each completely uniquely different but there are things that we all have in common in this life, most definitely. Um, so each one of us have our own story. We each have our own journey. And I'm just super excited for her to share with you guys tonight why. Why a woman who has been married for 18 years, a mom of two beautiful children, a massive health advocate, and also a realtor. She has her own business, um, along with this health business that she has stepped into. And I just really want her to be able to share her heart tonight with you guys and share why. What happened in her life to lead her to this moment in time that she finds herself in? So I am going to mute myself and pass the baton over to Miss Nikki Connor. M Nikki, you can just go ahead and unmute yourself. Thanks, Kalina. Um, yeah, sorry, I forgot to put my special lighting out, so it, I'm a little dark, but y'all can still hear me. <laughs> so, as Kalina said, um, my name is Nikki Connor. I live in Lake Jackson, Texas, very close to the beach, and I married my best friend 18 years ago. We have two children, um, a freshman in college and a junior in high school, so we are very busy with our children, and my husband is um, a band director in a small town close to us as well. Um, so I, I feel like I need to go all the way back to my childhood. Um, as a child, I was fairly healthy, you know, I didn't have any major issues, but I always struggled with my weight. And I remember from junior high on doing everything, every fad diet, Adkins, South Beach. I mean, if, if there was a diet out there, I did it. Um, working out to Richard Simmons tapes. Uh, or or videos, uh, VHS for you young people before DVDs. <laughs> um, and then as an adult, I did Zumba and aerobics. I did all these different things um, and yo-yo back and forth with my weight. Um, the tights really turned for me though about 10 years ago when I started having some struggles with seasonal allergies. All of a sudden, like, I mean, nose running, I can't even say what my dad says because it's so gross. But anyway, nose running so bad um, that I felt like I should just stick Kleenex up in there to keep it just constant seasonal allergies. And I tried every uh, different kind of um, allergy medication and neti pot and I mean everything and they wouldn't go away. Um, I started having adult acne. Um, couldn't get rid of it. I tried every acne thing. It was it was embarrassing, you know, to have to have that. And um, it was debilitating really with the seasonal allergies because it lasted for so long and I was so miserable. Um, and I had some other minor things, headaches all the time and blood sugar issues. And I just had no clue that there was anything other than pharmaceuticals or over-the-counter meds to help me. Um, but we stumbled across a chiropractor who was very naturally minded. And he had on his window of his practice allergies. So after a few months of suffering, I finally went in to see him and he turned us on to all the natural things. I found out that I had a gluten allergy. I had leaky gut. I had adrenal fatigue, all these different things that were, were affecting my body. And honestly, I had just kind of gotten used to being in pain and not feeling good. You know, when you're always hurting, you forget what it's like to not be. Um, so he turned me on to some natural supplements colloidal silver, probiotics, um, some adrenal supplements, all kinds of things. And I started a gluten-free diet, started to see some relief from that. And most importantly, my love for natural health and wellness began. Um, I started researching and really digging into the natural health world. 
So fast forward to 2013, I was skinnier than ever before. I exercised daily, I homeschooled my kids, but I was exhausted and I had constant blood sugar crashes, back pain and constant headaches. And um, I, I mean, I even sprouted my own grain and made kefir and kombucha. So I thought I was really healthy, really crunchy as some people said, um, but obviously something was missing. So through a homeschool convention, I met a girl who introduced me to a health and wellness company and they had probiotics and this drink that helped regulate blood sugar. And I was such a supplement snob that I didn't even look at their probiotic for a minute, but I was, I was okay with that blood sugar drink. And that was the missing link. I started feeling great, sleeping better. My blood sugar crashes went away. I wasn't feeling hangry anymore. My husband was really thankful for that. And I started sharing it with everybody I knew. Um, but when I decided to quit my full-time job back when, you know, years before, um, and be a stay-at-home mom, I knew I would still need to supplement my, our income a little bit. So from the age of 20 to 35, I had sold everything from pots and pants to panties and everything in between. <laughs> Seriously, I sold panties. <laughs> And people tell me all the time that I'm a natural salesperson and they couldn't do what I do because they're not. And that really stuck with me and I believed them. And I, I want to say right now, pay attention to what you let other people speak over you. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing to be a salesperson, but salespeople do have kind of a negative connotation. You think that they use car salesmen. Um, so be careful what you allow other people to speak over you because what they think may not be what is actually true. Um, so for, for many years, I thought, well, I'm just, I'm just not naturally good at this. But when I was reflecting last night about all the different businesses I've done, I realized it wasn't because, um, I'm good at sales. I'm really not. I'm good at sharing what I love with people. I love to help people. I'm always, you know, before I even joined that other company, I was always giving people samples of probiotics and supplements and all these different things. Um, and whether I got paid for it or not, I wanted to help people. So if I like a restaurant or a skincare or clothing line, housekeeper, I share it. And um, I don't have to convince people of what I'm selling. So anyway, I also asked myself why I joined and quit so many companies over the years. And I think it was because I wasn't growing personally. I didn't have mentors and leaders encouraging me to get over the obstacles I faced and my priorities weren't right. Um, I spent so much time and money trying to make time and money that I neglected my family and friends. I didn't spend the money that came in wisely. I was always looking for the next short-term solution. I really had a poverty mentality and I just needed cash now. So if I could do that business when I'd run out of my circle of friends with, you know, my pots and pans and I was like, oh, well, maybe I should try this lingerie company and, and it will get me where I need to go, you know it was always something new. And I, I really just thought about the here and now and not the long term. And I think that is another reason I was not successful. So anyway, I, with that company I was with, I was able to bring in a nice side income. At one time I had a team of over 130 people. It was doing pretty well. Um, and then they changed the formula of the main product that was so um, helpful to me. And it wasn't working for me as well, or any of my clients. And so my business suffered. And quite frankly, I got burnt out. I had gone to every training, every convention. I did all the IPAs, income producing activities, I reached out to 10 new people a day. And I never got past, you know, a very low rank in, in that company. And I finally decided that I just needed to quit and get a real job. I was, I was done. Um, I hated network marketing and I didn't want to have anything to do with it ever again. So I went to work, got a full-time job, working 40 plus hours a week. Um, I really loved it and it got me my start in my real estate business, career that I have now. But I realized that I was not, again, spending time with my family. Um, my health suffered. I gained a lot of weight and I was stressed out all the time. And I realized that there had to be a better way. This, this could not be what my life was going to look like for the next 15 or 20 years. Um, so I decided to be a realtor on my own. And I'm in my second year. I have a successful real estate business. Um, it's going really well. I have a wonderful team that I work with and, and we support each other. Um, but we started reading some books 
and wanting to grow our business and grow personally and all of that. And every stinking book I would read would say how you should have multiple streams of income. And network marketing is a genius way to make that. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I did not want to hear that. Um, so, but it was in the back of my head, like, okay, multiple streams of income. Um, so last year, my friend Melissa, who I'd worked in this other company with, reached out to me and said, hey, I want you to take a look at Q. And I seriously all but laughed in her face. Um, I gave her and my friend Katie a bunch of eye rolls. And, but then I heard Kalina's story of her son and what the products had done for him. For him. And um, my son had some similar issues and I really didn't want him taking pharmaceutical meds. Um, I was also desperate to get my health back. And so I decided to try the products after I researched them and, and saw that they were quality. And of course I signed up as an ambassador because I thought, well, if it works for me, you know, and I like it, I'll share it with my friends and family. So see, I didn't want to be a salesperson and I didn't want to do network marketing, but I still thought about sharing it with my friends and family. So, um, you know, I started taking the products, thought maybe this is a good company. I started with the core four, which is our Qmax, our vitamin, um, an anti-inflammatory, a women's, multi, like not multivitamin, but a women's uh, health pill and, um, and, and our probiotic. So I started taking those and I noticed results almost immediately, which was really exciting to me because, you know, a lot of times products will take several months for you to feel a difference on. And I love that almost immediately I felt a difference. Um, so then I noticed like my food allergy. I have like a gluten allergy. It started going away. My cravings were going away. I wasn't as hungry. I started sleeping like a baby again. Um, I, I just felt better. I genuinely felt good. And I loved that. Um, my son started taking our hemp and his ticks went from constant to bear to just here or there. And if he would be, he's a teenager. So getting him to take anything consistently is really hard. But when he does take everything consistently, he, he hardly has any ticks at all. So that was really exciting. Um, but I still didn't want to reach out to people and work the business. I would get a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach every time I thought about inboxing one of my friends. Um, and I worried about what people would think if I started sharing like, oh, here goes Nikki selling something else. Then maybe her, her real estate business isn't doing very well because you know how people talk. They always have an opinion about well, what's going on in your life. And I, and I cared so much about what people thought and I, I really didn't want to, to have that, um, have, have anyone think badly of me, which people are going to think badly anyway. And their opinions don't pay my bills. So I don't know why I was so worried about it. Um, but anyway, things keeping me from it. So dang, Melissa kept forcing me to go to these events, you know, you gotta go to these company events and that's what all the companies tell you. And they all tell you this one's different and this one's better. And I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. I'm, I'm super cynical. And I was just like, okay, whatever. Well, I went to this event in January reluctantly. And then the president of our company got up and started speaking and, and he was talking about how we need to be um, taking care of the five F's, which are your family, your faith, your finances, your fitness, um, and friends. And talked about the importance of your relationship with your significant other and your, all of these things. Um, he didn't just get up and be like, go sell a bunch of products. <laughs> he talked about having relationships with people, which is very important to me and it encouraged me. Um, the leaders in our company weren't wearing all of their profits. They were talking about starting other businesses and paying off debts and, um, and saving a lot of money. Um, stories of different people in our company who, who had been having this income and saving it. And then they wound up needing it for a purpose that was, you know, so it was really, I started to see that it was different and, um, that these are my people, like everything I've been learning in my real estate books and all of the, you know, not just real estate, but my personal growth books, like this company had it, they were doing it. Not only do they tell you to be financially fit, they immediately, the minute you join the company, give you a financial coach that's free. And it's not some hokey financial coach. It's like, you know, do an envelope system. Like it, it's actual help. Um, they have, you know, some weight loss products 
they don't just tell you here take this pill they also give you recipes and shopping lists and help you learn how so i love that they don't just say go do it they give you the tools that you need to do it and that is different than any other company i've ever been a part of um so i caught the vision there i finally decided i was i was all in with this company i had the belief but i still struggled to find time to work um, my job and responsibilities I used as excuses. I thought they were reasonable. You know, I'm busy. I work crazy hours. I never seem to have enough time. My job is stressful. And when I'm finally done at the end of the day, I just want to relax, binge watch or scroll Facebook, to be honest. Um, but then Melissa sent me to, made me go to this other event in Dallas. And I heard Holly Deaver speak, who is a real estate agent in another state. And she just opened her second real estate brokerage. And she's also working this business and she's killing it. So there went all my excuses because I'm not even a broker and I don't have time. Well, she does. And I realized that I do have the time. I'm just not managing it well. I was using being tired at night uh, from the busyness of my day job to keep me from working. So I ditched the excuses. I started posting consistently, reaching out to people. I started utilizing Katie who had been offering to help me and I just wasn't, just wasn't reaching out to her. And it's my business started taking off. Um, I started ranking up. I started getting more customers. I have people reaching out to me now asking me about the products and company. Um, and I've been working maybe two to four hours a day, depending on my schedule. So I traded my nightly scrolling and binge watching for zoom calls and trainings and prospecting on Facebook. Um, and it's, it's been worth it to me. It's not always easy. I mean, just this past weekend, I had several people wanting me to do things with them and I could not do it because I had made commitments already to this. Sometimes it take, it requires me saying no to things that I really want to do. Um, it requires me to not get as much sleep as I normally would, um, but it's worth it. And I'm willing to work double time now to have time freedom later. Um, in 10 years, I don't wanna be working full time. I wanna be spending time with my future grandchildren and volunteering and, spending time with my husband um he has a job that is difficult and is stressful for him i would love to bring him home from that retire him early and allow him to do whatever brings him joy because he has worked tirelessly for our family for years um i have big whys and big goals and that's what pushes me to continue doing this even when i don't feel like it um so i'm really thankful that i didn't let the past experiences keep me from this company because it truly is completely different. Our, our company is called Q Sciences, which stands for quintessential, which means the best of the best. We truly not only have the best of the best products, we have the best of the best leaders. And I can't say enough great things about it. Um, so that's my story. Um, I could probably talk for another hour, but I don't want to keep everyone because it's getting late on a Tuesday night. It's Tuesday, right? <laughs> it's already been a long week. So if anything I've said tonight resonated with you, please get with the person who invited you and join us tomorrow night because one of my friends is going to be sharing um, how, how we are becoming a multi-million dollar industry and people from all walks of life are succeeding and making an impact in their own lives and the lives throughout the globe. So thank y'all for listening to my story.